What's up guys? Welcome back to Fisher Hex. My name is Travis. Today we're going to do our final update here in the fish room now that I've completely finished all of my quality of life upgrades over the last couple weeks. Now I've done videos on the exhaust fan, talked about the humidity and all that sorts of stuff, what tanks I was going to get rid of and things that I would be doing. Now that I've done all of that, let's go ahead and do a walkthrough video of the fish room. I'll show you everything that I've added and talk about the tanks and some of the equipment, stuff that I've already added to the tank that you guys haven't seen yet. So let's do a, a full run through. So let's go to start as you walk into the fish room. Uh, you guys will notice that my exhaust fan outlet is here. Uh, I'll show you the fan itself uh, when we get over there. And you guys can see that it just forces the hot, humid air out. Um, I do have a video on this installation. I will put it in the description for you guys, all right? So that's the uh, air vent kind of goes through and then that uh, four inch PVC goes all the way to the other side of the fish room. Um, here where we used to have the 30 gallon, uh, I guess uh, clownfish bubble tip tank, if you wanna call it, it's kind of evolved from a Triton tank to that tank over the last year. Um, I went ahead and added a uh, plastic stand, really relatively cheap, I think I got it for like 20 bucks at Home Depot, but it allows me to put my uh, NO3 and PO4 on there, plus I have some other stuff that I plan on putting there just to kind of keep it organized and not all over the fish room. Uh, to the uh, right of that, I got a mini fridge off of eBay. I think I got it for like a hundred bucks. Uh, this is where I keep uh, all my seltzer water. <laughs> no, just kidding. Oh, I do, but I have. Uh, I used to have a ton of phytoplankton here, and this is all I have left in my personal one. This is supposed to last me to Sunday. That's not going to happen. Um, but this is where I keep the phytoplankton. Um, I'll keep my medication, all that stuff in here, and then I keep my fuel for the 300 and the frag tank in here because since it needs to be refrigerated. But this was a nice investment. It just kept everything from uh, for the business and for my tanks away from the uh, personal stuff, like upstairs. The kids like getting into the, to the fridge and I don't need them chugging bottles of phytoplankton. That's probably not gonna be good for them. Um, computer stuff we'll talk about in a later video. Did a lot of upgrades on that. Some Just some stuff that's long overdue. Um, over here we have our new, it's kind of dark, but we have our new packing bench where the 125 used to be. Um, some features of this, of course, is the LED um, shop light there. Picked up at Home Depot. I think it's like 30 bucks, and it is freaking out the camera. Um, this little a little packing area here is nice because this is where I keep all of my styrofoam for the boxes, which is really nice. It's organized. I can keep a lot more of it there because before it was kind of uh, down here just sitting around and falling down every time I bumped into it. It was always in the way and I could never keep enough of it if I had a lot of orders. Um, on top of that, I've added some templates to cut, uh, wrong way with the camera, some templates to cut uh, the foam quickly. That way it saves me a ton of time. My back doesn't hurt, I can do it here on the, uh, the bench. Also got this little jibber jabber, or made it anyways. Uh, 900 feet of paper, if you guys follow me on Instagram, I, I kind of showed a little bit of that. But it's nice to have all the extra paper for packing because I ran out of newspaper and I was begging my neighbors for it and stuff. And uh, I just decided to uh, build that and uh, go buy some. Also have a bunch of it here in a bag that I got locally. Um, down here we have uh, two different types of boxes, which I'll talk about in a second. Um, all the packing supplies. I just upgraded from the 18 hour a day heat packs to these uh, 40 hour heat packs, which are really awesome. I had some good feedback on them so far. I've also, instead of uh, doing two different pieces of paper for the DOA and the acclimation, I've uh, put it all on one sheet of paper. It saves me paper, saves me time, and it just makes it easier for you guys to follow. And uh, yeah, love the workbench. I used to be able to only do about 15 orders a day. Um, now I can do upwards of 30, 35, 40 if I have enough time, orders per day, which allows me, you know, this having this bench in general makes life a thousand times easier and I can get orders done. Um, another thing that I've adjusted is, now that you guys buy phytoplankton, um, going to these bigger boxes allows me to ship the phytoplankton, if you do two or three at a time, allows me to ship it with your coral. So it saves me a, a little bit of money. I do charge extra for the box when you add the phytoplankton, it, it adds a chip, shipping charge to your coral char shipping charge. But that's to cover the extra box, and it does cost a little bit more money than the normal size box to ship, but overall you it's better because you get your phytoplankton when you order your coral 
Um, as long as you don't buy more than three bottles at once, I can ship it. If you buy more than three, I'll have to ship the other ones uh, USPS. I just don't have the room in the box. Um, so this is, um, I just posted this on Instagram. And by the way, if you guys want to see these little things, uh, go on Instagram because I post pictures usually every day and stuff that's going on. Uh, that's a side note. But we're going to be adding some more flow to the 300 gallon. I'm going to put this video out next week. We got another um, VDM module because I ran out of ports, uh, variable speed ports on the Apex. And the module that I already have is full with what uh, four power heads I already have in there. And then we're going to add the j to Apex adapter and then two of these um, power heads. I've never used these type before, um, but they are about 5,000 gallons per hour. Currently we have uh, 20,000 in that tank, so we're going to add another 10,000. These guys are going to go on the back wall to push flow forward. And I'll talk about in detail when I install them why I'm putting them on the back wall uh, because of coral growth and how the coral's actually growing and dead spots and all that stuff. I'll get into all that once um, I make that video next week, so stay tuned. Uh, this is pretty cool. Um, this is just one of these things. These are the little things that make me happy, and I talk about it all the time, uh, the little things. So um, this right here, this magnet is from a broken frag rack that I had, and I took the other half and um, screwed it on there, but I kept on losing my damn um, tape thing, the jigger. We'll just call it a tape tape gun or whatever the hell you want to call it uh, but uh, that's awesome that's that's a little thing that I really like and that makes me really happy so uh, yeah it's the little things in life right uh, to the right of that we have the coral cutting uh, I've got a bunch of stuff that I had come in that I just honestly haven't had time to cut I will um, of course the light and all that good stuff um, really nice to have this space open for making videos and dealing with stuff with water because the top is a corian so i don't have to worry about it soaking into the wood it's nice to have that area um, an, an upgrade that i did do that i talked about was the air purifier um, here with the uv really nice to have this going it runs 24 hours a day um, helps keep the air nice and crisp and clean down here on top of the fan and the dehumidifier it's just it's the best room in the house it's just really nice uh, so moving over to the 300 gallon, I added this uh, Camor uh, pump for the calcium reactor and I'll do a whole video on installing it and setting it up and dialing it in. But right now it's day two and um, just kind of seeing if it could keep up with the tank. Right now it's currently at 80, I think I, I don't know if I get it, 80 milliliters per minute. And I'm staying at about 8.3 dKH. Now the tank I like to keep around um, 9.5. So we'll, we'll see, right now my pH in my calcium reactor stays at uh, 6.7 to 6.8. That's the fluctuation I allow. Now there is going to be a point where that Camor is going to be maxed out at 120 milliliters per minute, but yet I'm still going to drop in alkalinity. So what I'll have to do is probably drop the pH in the calcium reactor to make up and allow that uh, calcium media, calcium reactor media to dissolve a little bit quickly to make up for the uh, flow rate only being able to go to 120 uh, milliliters per minute. And I'll talk about all that stuff once we do the setup video for the calcium reactor. It's on the to-do list. Uh, it, it's going to get done. Don't worry. Um, but I'll talk about all that next week once I uh, get that Camor kind of tested and feel that, I, you know, if I like it or not. It's good so far, but it's only been 24 hours, so you don't really even know if you like anything after 24 hours. But uh, yeah, I'll keep you guys in the loop on that. Uh, comes to the 300 gallon, it's pretty cool. The fish just fragged a bunch of coral for me, which is nice. So uh, I just cut that stuff up, put it in the tank. I do have to come in here, it's gonna be blue. I gotta, I gotta cut some more. I'm trying not to cut with my alkalinity being at 8.4 uh, because it's just, it's already low. I don't want it there. And every time you cut something, it's gotta pull more out to grow, to repair itself. And I'm not trying to do any more STN. The STN is kind of stopped. You're not going to be able to see it with the blue, but the bottom of that blue acro, the STN has stopped completely and it's starting to kind of turn into rock. It's changing color, so it's not expanding anymore. So I'm trying not to piss off the tank, but I'm also trying to cut coral fast enough to keep up with the website and to keep them from killing each other. So it's a little bit of a process, uh, fine tuning. And then here is the frag tank. I got some stuff I got I to gotta take pictures of, put that on the website. Uh, yep, here is the current humidity in here. 39, that's awesome. I'm telling you, going from 75 to 39, or sorry, 65 to 75 to 39 is, is just amazing. I, it, it feels awesome in here, and might as well show you the fan while we're up here. And this is the exhaust fan hooked up to the Apex to turn it on. It's been on 24 hours a day for the last few days, and I got 30 seconds left. I'm gonna have to start this video over because it's going to turn off in 20 seconds. So I might as well just turn it off now and come right back. 
and we're back. That way it doesn't turn off and I'm talking to myself. Um, now we're over at the frag system. Um, Chato sales are currently not on the website. I've kind of, uh, I had to take a break. Basically I did 72 Chato sales last month between the two refugiums here, this one and the 300 gallon. So 72 orders cleaned me out and I have to wait for it to come back and grow. I, grow. I can't pull too much out. It's just not gonna be good for the system. So uh, yeah, I'll let you guys know. I'll do a video. I'll post a picture on Instagram once it's full again and we'll start the sales back up. So I do apologize. Um, if you wanna get a jump start and you wanna order some ahead of time, you can email me and I'll send you an invoice, put you on the list. Um, you know, you pay, I put you on the list for when it's available. Um, it gets probably gonna be like two or three weeks. It usually doesn't take very long for it to grow. Um, when it comes to the frag systems, they're done for now, but I will be adding another tank. Have a, will I be doing a, another low boy? I'm not sure yet, but for right now, this system is done and I'm just gonna kind of leave it at that, but it's not big enough, not even close. It, it's just not even close. I, I don't know if I could show you guys, but I got rocks and stuff that need to be cut up here. Um, what's up, dude? I got a bunch of rocks and stuff that need to be cut up here. There's just not enough room but I'm making do with it and trying to push products out and you know have people come over and visit the, the see the 300 they buy coral so you know it's nice it's it's moving pretty good but uh, it's, it's done I'm just gonna say it's done I don't want to add any more stuff but it's probably gonna happen anyway so uh, the last thing I'm gonna show you guys here for my quality of life is my frag cart and it's not you guys have seen this before it's not the frag cart itself it's this damn thing so this is the dowel that I used to make that roller and I don't know if I can show you on camera, but I've, I like to double bag. Anything that doesn't, um, it's not like an SPS or anything like that, usually goes in a bag. Um, SPS go on styrofoam and then they go in cups, that way, that way they don't break. But anything else usually goes into a double bag. Now I always had a problem double bagging. I always use this freaking thing to do it, it's irritating. So I built this jibber jabber. I don't know if I can do it while I'm holding this. But basically you put one bag over, right? And then you put another bag over and it double bagged. It's super quick. It takes less than five seconds opposed to taking 30 seconds to a minute with that damn thing. And um, not only did I save the dowel and can continue to use it, uh, I didn't waste any money with that, but it saves me a ton of time. And I wanted to show you guys that because um, again, the little things, right? Uh, phytoplankton, last thing to show you, and then we're done. Uh, basically 20 bottles a week. Uh, you can pre-order, it's still on the website. Um, I don't know if it's in stock. It might not be in stock. I'll have to check. But you can pre-order it and it'll go back out. I got orders going back out on Monday. So, yes, that is the fish room. We didn't cover the water mixing station because we talked about it a thousand times, but there it is. And, uh, yeah, that's the fish room. Quarantine tanks that I don't use very often. My my back thing, I talked about that, my little back stretcher and the jigger. I've had that for years and haven't used it. Just started using it. But, uh yeah, so that's the fish room. I'm really happy to be down here. It feels good. The air is clean. Um, I just like being down here and the fact that I can work efficiently now, save time, get more stuff done. It's all good things and I'm pretty happy about it. So I'm going to stop rambling since we've been going for probably 14 minutes or so. Uh, if you have any questions about the fish room, let me know and I will see you guys later with another video. Peace.